You have probably heard about body mass index or BMI, but have you ever wondered how you can calculate it and what does it even mean? We will cover all of that in today's video. Before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to not miss anything. Now, let's dive into all the details. What is body mass index and how to calculate it? Body mass index or BMI for short, is a value that derives from the height and weight of a person. It is a medical tool that estimates how much body fat you have, which can help assess a person's health status or risks. With most people, a higher BMI may correlate to higher body fat and certain health risks that may occur. But there are certain limitations to using BMI for health screening and it cannot be used on all people. We will get to that later on in the video. How can you calculate your own BMI or body mass index? In this video, we will show you how you can calculate it and show you the BMI scale. But know that there are lots of online calculators out there that can help you with calculating your own BMI easily. BMI is expressed in units of weight in kilograms per square meter. It is defined as the body mass divided by the square of the body height. Here is an example. If a person measures 172 centimeters in height and weighs 80 kilograms, the BMI would be calculated as 80 kilograms divided by the square of 1.72 meters, which would result in a BMI of 27. Now, let's see the scale of BMI and see how this person's BMI would categorize their weight to height ratio. As we can see, a body mass index of 27 would categorize this person as overweight. A BMI of between 18.5 and 24.9 is considered as normal weight, and a BMI over 30 is considered obese. Higher BMI means higher body fat, which may expose the person to certain health risks, like heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Whereas low BMI and low body fat may be related to malnutrition. The right amount of body fat, which is considered to be in the normal category of the BMI scale, helps to get vitamins and minerals into your body and provides a source of energy for you and helps you to maintain your body temperature. What are the risks associated with a lower or higher BMI? A lower BMI may indicate vitamin deficiencies, anemia, osteoporosis, a decrease in the immune system, growth and development issues and generally an increased risk of mortality, compared to people with a healthy BMI score. On the other hand, a high BMI may indicate high blood pressure, higher levels of cholesterol, a possibility of diabetes, stroke or coronary heart disease, a possibility of certain cancers, a lower quality of life, sleep apnea, and breathing problems. What are the limitations to using BMI? Body mass index does not diagnose health. As mentioned before it is only a quick tool to help assess health risks based on your body mass. Here are some limitations to this tool. It does not differentiate between lean body fat, such as muscles, and fat mass. It uses the same scale for males and females, but in reality the body structure is different and the scale cannot be completely the same. This same limitation applies to different age groups that are not considered in the scale. Those limitations are the reason why sometimes you can't use the BMI tool to measure a person's body fat. You should not use it with athletes, bodybuilders, pregnant women, children, teenagers, and people over the age of 65 years. Since it has its limitations, body mass index is a great tool, but not always an accurate measurement of body fatness and it definitely not a determiner of your overall health. We hope you enjoyed today's video.